This morning, I decided that I wanted to pull out my Fenty, which one is it called? It's called Money. I haven't gotten to play with this palette since I bought it on my way to the mountains. So that's what we're gonna do today, is play with the Fenty Money palette. And it looks like this. And I'm gonna begin with an eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna use the Tarte. It's their eye base. And I'm just going to blend that in with my ring finger and I'm gonna take the excess underneath on my bottom lash line so that I will have something for my eye look to adhere to down there too. If you were one of the ones that wanted to see some Beach Wave Calligraphy S-curve S type waves, stay tuned because I'm going to put, do that at the end of this video. I didn't feel like I could do a whole video on just that. So I'm gonna begin with a fluffy brush and I'm going to take the cup, there's a, a brownie color in here and it is called Rubber Band, I think, Rubber Bands, this one. And I'm going to map out my look with that. And it is literally the color of a rubber band. And I'm literally putting that in my crease this time, keeping it down low. And this is a really warm look. I tried to find something that, a top to wear that would look appropriate with this. I, the, the green top I have on is a good bit cooler, but if I have to, I'll switch tops so that the, the look looks appropriate. I'm just trying to shape that outside corner the way I want it. All right, there you go. Now I'm gonna take the color Flash Money, this, this one. It's a, it's a gold with a tiny bit of green in it. I'm gonna put that on my lid. I'm gonna use my finger for that. And I'm going to concentrate it in the center of my eye at the lash line. Like that. Then I'm gonna take this is the original color. I'm just blending more. I'm gonna see if I can find my pencil that I bought from Urban Decay. It's called High Vibe. I'm gonna put that underneath. I think I'm going to sharpen it and put it on on top also. I am not going to put this on my tight line or water line because it's got glitters in it. Just right around, just really close to the lash line. Like that. I'm putting little dashes. Ooh, there's the UPS truck. I don't think I have anything fun coming. It's probably something for Pat. Probably fish, fishing related. 
in a UPS package. All right. I'm not gonna go get it because I think I know what it is. I think it's just stationary. I don't know. It's sta uh, we ordered stationary to do face charts for when I do makeup lessons. I know, why recreate the wheel? Okay, that's, that's High Vibes by Urban Decay. Now I'm going to take a pencil brush. This one's by Jacqueline Hill. It's number 39. And I'm going to take this really green one, and it's called Fat Pockets this one and it's P-H-A-T not F-A-T like saddlebags <laughs> I don't know what that is but I don't want it I don't want any fat pockets uh, she's got a little French pug. It looks like a little pig. Y'all want to see it? Let's see if I can get y'all turned around fast enough. It really looks like a little pig, doesn't it? Okay. I'm just dragging that fat pockets up like that. Now I'm going to take the color Time is Money, like time, like the kind that you, lemon time. <laughs> Like you put on your chicken. All right. And then I'm going to take some more gold. Make sure those inside corners are good and reflective. And this is the original color rubber bands. There's just a tiny bit left on the brush. And I'm doing that. All right, I'm going to put on some mascara. We should use the, the Fenty Green Mascara today, right? Here it is. It's called Ivy League. Put that on my bottom lashes. And I'm going to put black mascara on my top lashes. I'm going to use the Monsieur Big. This used to be a, a favorite. And I don't recall having any sensitivity during that period of my life. I'm doing like this so I can get the tips of my lashes. I still hadn't gotten my Kiko pen that I ordered. For my eyebrows. Speaking of which, let's do eyebrows now. I'm going to use the... I don't like this pencil. I like the... Uh, my palette that has the brow color in it that I like is in my kit. And I don't feel like getting up. So, I'm going to use the color Embark from MAC.
There's one brow. I like that color. I guess my Kiko brow markers coming from Italy. By donkey. Across water by donkey. Donkeys swim really slow. I'm still coloring. All right, does this palette have a, a brow highlight color? No. I'm going to use something from my MAC palette here. Let's see what I should use. I'm going to use, I do not know what it is. It's kind of peachy. So this is kind of a peachy cream. I'm liking how it's blending with that look. I need some brow gel. This stuff really holds. This whole, you know how they call it 24 hour brow setter? It holds more than 24 hours. You know how I know? Because I tested it out. Sometimes when I have to do a makeup look, even though my eyes are so sensitive, when I take my makeup off, I just gently take it off and leave the eyes alone. I don't even, I don't even touch the eyes. Because I've tried gently removing just water will make them freak out. Okay. Let's do eyelashes. I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy palette. I think this is a, I don't know where this came from, but I think it's for setting a candle on. But I like it as a palette. These are Gypsy Lashes, they're number 906. I'm gonna put some Dark Duo on my palette. I'm probably going to, I guess I'll, I'll try, try the whole lash and see how it looks. They look pretty good. I think I'm gonna do the whole lash. I'm gonna let the lash glue get tacky. I know that seems appropriate, right? I know we still don't have foundation, don't have any face face makeup on yet. All right, now I'm gonna put this on. That's what I need, I need a mirror. I can't see. My eyes are swelling. I wonder if that Tarte eye primer has something in it. I wonder if all Tarte products are something I have to avoid. I probably should have trimmed these. Because I probably have too much lash on the inside which is annoying. So let's do that. There's no rules that say we can't go back. I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna trim from the inside. All right, I trimmed a little clump off the inside. I know, you're not supposed to trim from the inside. Looking good. Love it. Loves it. Okay, I'm gonna trim. A, it's a, a clump and a piece is what it is. I'm gonna do that on this side too. It really helps to be able to see. It's amazing. 
It's amazing how much easier it is when you can see what you're doing. All right, I'm going to let those lashes dry. while I do the skin portion of this, this look of this show. All right, I like those lashes. Of course, I knew that anyway, because I ordered like 10 pairs. This is what the package looks like. And I'll link them down below. So I have my primer on. It's the Makeup Forever base it's smoothing primer i don't know what I, I one of you sweet girls sent me uh oodles of those not oodles a handful and i like it all right this is seashell foundation by Too Faced. it's the born this way in the color seashell. I got my sponge. I left my beauty blender wetter today than usual. I like the way it performs when it's wetter. I'm rubbing on my chin because I don't want, boy, that's a really light foundation in it. Because I don't want a bunch of foundation bunched up on my chin. I don't know why that is, my attention is drawn to that a lot lately. Okay, it's okay that this foundation is so light because I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer generously. I'm working around my nose to make sure I get any any redness that might be there that's really there or imagined. All right, I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer in O2. I love this stuff. I'm gonna marry it. And I'm going to use it generously. I'm going to bronze in the areas where the sun would bronze, suntan me. My suntan is wearing off. I guess I'm just not out in the sun. It's just not as, I don't know. I'm either not at, it hasn't been as sunny. I think I, I did lay out in the sun yesterday, but I already had on a makeup look that I had done for a video. So, and you know how much makeup I wear. So it was effective in keeping me from getting any, any sun on my face. My chest is brown though, right? And I like this brush. This is the uh, Real Techniques multitasker or multitask brush and it really it's soft and rounded on top and compact bristles and it busts that in i'm going to get a different highlight I was digging around over there looking for a plum colored blush. I pulled out Fig by NYX. I don't know if this will give me what I'm hoping for. We'll try. I'm going to start up high because this is a shimmery blush. Oh yeah. I like that. I 
I'll link this down below also. And kind of buff it and make it shiny. All right, and then I'm gonna use for my, I still want my nose contoured. I'm going to take a shadow from, from MAC. And I'm going to contour my nose. And I'm going to take my makeup sponge see what color I'm using. I am using the color Satin Taupe. <laughs> wow, the sun came out. I thought it was going to rain. It, it felt like it was going to. Alright, this is Dose of Colors. brighten under here too. I'm going to take the pointy end of my beauty blender. I know I've really been into beauty blender lately. It works so much better soaking wet for my purposes. My uh, contour is still kind of dark. I'll fix it though before we're done. I look like I need my blush put back. Okay, I put it back. Let's do a lip. Just use Bare Minerals Freestyle. And I'm going to use the lip balm that I got from Becca, the Becca Hydrolite. Feels really good. I want some more mascara. Let's see if this one's any good anymore. Oh boy. That one's dried out. Let's throw this one away. I am really accomplishing stuff, right? Okay, this, this one's julep. This one's really good too. It was, it may be dried out now. It's got a comby wand. Let's do a bright waterline. I'm gonna take the La Mer loose powder today. I'm going to use my damp beauty blender. Yeah, I'm gonna do some steps that I don't that I usually leave out. I'm bringing down that contour on my nose. Trying to anyway. I'm going to I'm going to set my under eyes with the La Mer today also. I 
I'm gonna let that sit. I'm gonna pull out a oldie but a goodie. The, the highlight from Makeup Forever. It was the Pro Sculpting Duo in 01, and everybody was over the moon about the highlight, but not so much for the bronzer. I need more bronzer on my forehead. Right there. All right. So that's the makeup portion of this show. I have some excess powder here and there. So let's do the, the hair part. Let me get, I have a new curling iron for my makeup artist kit here my, my hair and makeup artist kit and I'm gonna demo that this is the GHD GHD curve you cut it on right the but the on button is the on buttons underneath the handle all right and it's heating up and it heats up in 30 seconds so I'm going to some I was discussing the see the S curve uh uh waves. So with it and you wanted to know I guess you didn't want to buy the oval curling iron. So you wanted to know how to make it with a regular curling iron. So I'm going to pin this away. All right, so I accidentally did one without y'all seeing. See, that's a wave. It's kind of, it's an S curl. All right, here we go. You take one, a one inch piece that's too wide. I'm going to curl it away from my face and I'm going to curl it down the barrel, not on top of itself. And pull it out, let that let the top loop curl, let the second loop curl. I mean cool and then drag that down. See, when you drag it down, it, it straightens that piece out. And I will go through and do the whole head and let the curls cool. Can't see that one as well. See, it's a S shape. All right. In contrast, or this is what we're avoiding. A barrel curl. A barrel curl was created like this. And I curl it all on top of itself. Oh shoot. There. All on top of itself like that. And then there's no stretching. You don't stretch the curl. And see then you have a barrel curl. All right, another way you can do this S curve, let's find another piece of hair. 
is to take your take your curling iron, hold it upside down, hold your hold your piece of hair firmly. Don't don't wrap it. See how I'm changing the with my working it between my fingers to lay it down uh, flat like a ribbon. Don't do it like that. Hold it. Hold the hair firmly. And wrap it around like that. Then pull it off and it does an S curl. Let's do another one. Hold the piece of hair firmly. Point your iron down, pull it off, and you have an S curl. I hope that was helpful. See, see this? This is a fabulous iron. If you want to be really serious about your, get one of these, get you some. I'll link it in the down box. Oh, look at there, you can stretch it out. No, you can't. It wants to be a barrel curl. And see, I got S, S waves over here. Thanks for watching. I enjoyed making this video for you, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow night.